Welcome to Sew Denim Quilting. I'm Glenda Burton. Do you have a stash of denim jeans that you've been hanging on to to make a denim quilt? Don't know what to make? Hopefully I can inspire you to create your own awesome quilts. I'm always seeing quilts that look great and I wonder, what if I used old denim jeans? Grab those je denim jeans and let's get started. Welcome back. Today I'm going to take you along as I continue to make my scrappy denim and flannel disappearing nine patch quilt. Our first step was to make our disappearing nine patch blocks. To see how I did that, check out the link below to the disappearing nine patch tutorial. Today we are going to sew our blocks, three blocks at a time, together into rows. To do that, I'm just going to lay them out here and I'm going to clip them together. And then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew a quarter inch down the side each side and I'm going to do that four times. I'm going to do that to four rows. So row one and then I'm going to do that on row two, two, I'll clip them together so that I know which side they're on. I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to clip or I'm going to sew them a quarter of an inch on each side and that will make our rows. I have 12 blocks, so I will have four rows. I'll see you at the sewing machine. Today, I have a quick tip for you. After you've clipped your sides together on each side, one on each side, fold back one side, fold over your side that you're going to sew on, and clip it down. By doing this, what happens is it keeps it from shifting, keeps your keeps this piece from shifting as you're going through the sewing machine, and it keeps you from sewing this one into that one. So that is my quick tip for today. is after we've styled our first side together we're going to unclip this side on each side and we're going to now we're going to clip this side down that way it's not in our way either so we'll take these clips off and we will add the same thing we will do the same thing we'll fold it under on the opposite side then we'll fold our full piece over so that it is clipped together. And that will again keep our piece from getting caught underneath here. And it will keep it so that it's not falling apart. So that's tip number two. I have sewed all of my blocks together into rows of three, as you can see. So here are all of our, all of our blocks sewed into to rows of three. Next, I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron them, and hopefully, I will do this correctly and I, they will nest. But let's. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them. So that they so that the seams will nest because these are getting kind of bulky
Okay, now that we have these ironed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clip these two rows together, right sides facing. And these, we do have some of our seams to nest, so let's uh, at least nest them at the intersections where they where the two come together. Those are the two that I'm going to concentrate on the most. So that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Nesting, nesting our seams, putting them together. And another thing that I do is once I clip, I like to clip mine on the tops and the bottoms, like I did with the blocks, because these get heavier. As these get heavier, they get harder to control. So I like to go ahead make sure that I have the tops and the bottoms clipped and maybe one or two on the sides so that when I'm running it through my machine it doesn't fall apart and it helps me keep my my seams a little bit more accurate I'm still learning and I'm not perfect but this is a trick that does help me is to go ahead and clip all sides in some form or, my, or another and that way, they stay together, and I don't have them dragging or pulling. So I will go ahead and I will clip one down here on the end on this side, and I'll clip one on this side, on the sides, and I'll clip, clip just a couple in the middle so that I know that, like, I'll do like in the middle of the, the, the blocks. I'll do the middle of the blocks so that I don't have to, that I know which side I'm sewing on and which side I'm not sewing on. So I'm going to do that to both, both of the rows and then I'm going to go back to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew those together and then I will see you. So I'll see you at, see you at the sewing machine next. All right, we're back at the sewing machine, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew my two rows into together. So let's get let's get going. Simply, all I'm going to do is run the, the two of them through the machine together, one at a time. Just chain piece them through, and that will be done. our bottom half of our quilt. Here is the top half of our quilt. So our next step from here is to iron it out and either start sandwiching it and quilting it and or adding borders. What do you think? Should I add borders or should I not? You tell me. I'm thinking borders but Maybe not. I don't know. I'm debating whether I want to put the borders on before or after. So let me know in the comments if I should do should do borders, and if I should do the borders add the borders before or after. I am going to be quilting this quilt as you go. So my so before I quilt these two to put these two together, I'm going to quilt it, and I'll show you how to do that. But if you would like to see me add, see how, see if I can add borders to the sides, to the sides and to the top and bottom in my next step, let me know in the comments. If you're getting value out of this video, hit the like button. If you want to follow along, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.